everyone, it's Wayne here and welcome to another new video. So I'm super excited to shoot today's video because I think it'll be really really fun and really really interesting since I've not tried anything like that before on my channel. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recreate this makeup look that I have today on a face chart using only Korean cosmetic brands. So I decided not to use an existing face chart from other makeup brands. If you want, you can download them online. They even have like PDF files for you to use, but uh, I'm not going to use that. I actually drew my own face chart loosely based off my face, so don't judge. I'm going to show it to you now, so brace yourself because it does look a bit creepy. <laughs> I actually drew this last night and I left it on my desk and I actually freaked myself out when I came out from the bathroom because I was like, oh my god, there's someone's face on my table but it's actually my face chart. I drew my face chart loosely based on my face. Um, as you can see, like I have the, like, these white cheekbones and the big cheeks and the small mouth and just the general feel of my face because I think it will just be more interesting to do, to recreate my look on a face chart that kind of looks like me. Without further ado, let's begin! Alright, so I will be doing a voiceover for the rest of the video because if you guys watched my last art challenge video, I tried drawing and talking at the same time. It was just impossible and a mess. So I'm just gonna record a voiceover. Um, I do not have a Korean brand for the base. So I'm just going to use this NYX finishing powder and this will be the only non-Korean product that I will be using in this video. Um, prior to this video, I didn't bother trying anything out. I just went right in and of course, that's not advisable. Um, as you can see, the powder was really really light and it wasn't picking up on camera, let alone in real life. So I just laid on a really really light base just to add some sort of colouring to the skin. I decided to just move on to the contouring because I think the contouring will help you guys see a little better and give the drawing a little more definition so you guys will be able to see, actually see what I'm working on versus the really really light powder that is barely noticeable. So I'm doing the contouring as I would on my actual face and it's really difficult because um, my face is like a 3D object, right? And this piece of paper is a 2D object, so to translate it from 3D to 2D is definitely tricky. So I'm just going to move on to the brows because um, I just don't want to stare at this weird alien looking like face anymore. Without the brows, it's really really freaky. So the brows were relatively easy only because the brow pencil feels like a crayon, sort of. So it wasn't as hard as like the powders because um, the eyebrow pencil has a little bit more moisture, oil, I suppose, whatever the ingredients are. Um, so it does stick better on the paper. Next, I moved on to the eyeshadow. So, the whole eyeshadow portion was tricky as well because it's the same concept as the face powder and the contour powder. It was just dry powder on top of another dry surface. It was impossible to blend. There's a lot of fallout as you guys can see. It was just like a mess. At this point, I really thought like, why am I doing this? I think I shouldn't even post this video up. But when I reached this um, orange metallic color, it did have some glitter on it. And I do usually use my fingers when it comes to glitter eyeshadow on my own face. So I thought I'll give it a go on, the, on paper. And it worked really, really well. So from this point on, you will notice that I completely started skipping the brushes and only using my fingers for everything. Next, I moved on to liquid glitter, which I actually had on my actual eyelids, but it didn't translate well, so I'm not going to talk much about it. <laughs> it just didn't even work. Next is the blush. I tried, initially I tried with the makeup brush, it didn't work, so I'm just going ham on it with my fingers, and of course the fingers work beautifully. 
I was really looking forward to work on the lips because I know with the lip products, it's like a cream based product, it has more moisture. So it would feel like painting versus just rubbing dry powder into a dry piece of paper. So the lips were really easy to work with. It was kind of like using a really thick, moussey like paint. And to soften the look, I used the face powder from the beginning to just brush at the edges of the lips so it doesn't look like a solid piece. Next is the eyeliner, which was of course the easiest part of the whole thing because it's just like inking, my favourite thing to do. And I was so happy because I finished off with the eyeliner and I was like, oh, thank God I don't need to blend anymore and just like, you know, work the paper, like really, really work the pigment into the paper. So the eyeliner was definitely the best part. And then I just used a sponge brush to tighten the drawing up and then adding highlights to the lips. So yeah, this is the results from the challenge. What do you guys think? Did I replicate the look? Is the general feel there? I thought it would be much more fun than this but it wasn't as fun as I thought it would be because it was really difficult to blend I guess like powder on top of another dry surface so I ended up just using like my fingers to blend them in so I guess the oils from my skin just helped to solidify the colours into the paper a little bit better but yeah I think the results are not bad I mean it's not as terrible as I thought it would be. Like midway through, I thought like this was a really horrible idea. Like this is not going to be a success, it's going to be, a, going to be a failure, but I think it's okay. If you guys enjoyed that and would like to see more interesting art and quirky crazy art challenges from me, please make sure to leave your suggestions in the comments down below and I'll read through them and go through them. And for the really, really good ones, I will keep them aside. And if you have a really good idea, I might use yours down the road. So yeah. Alright, as usual, thanks for watching and please remember to like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys online the next time. Bye!